so I wanted to um, get a trailer for my kayak, right? And uh, I did some research online and all that. And man, from Hobie trailers to some just regular little small boat trailers, man, they want like two grand, some of them 1500 for a trailer and all that. And uh, I'm like, man, that's a, that's a lot of fishing trips right there. So I was like, I can do better than that. So I went to build a trailer and try to keep it under $400. And uh, this is what I came up with. I basically took the uh, fold up Harbor Freight trailer. I think I got it after uh, the gift card I had. I got it for like 130 bucks. I think the regular like uh, almost like 200 or something. Anyway, I got it. I took some uh, treated plywood and put on it. Um, the actual, it comes like these little brackets. I guess it's for putting your own fence rails on it. So I used that and put tuck plywood and cut it to 12 inches and ran some strips across and um, got some outdoor paint, fire red. I figure fire red, people see it, don't run into it, if they can stay on their cell phones long enough, right? So I took some of the um, conduct piping and put on it, because I saw a couple of guys on YouTube had some trailers with it, and uh, used that for like running boards, and, and uh, the Hobie fits really good on it. The light kit that came with it, didn't really work don't really matter i used this as a when i first got this i got it as a utility trailer to carry sheetrock on it since so our house let it and while i was at home depot some dude decided to run in the side of it so i had to replace the lights but anyway it rides really good um didn't spend a fortune on it i think i said i got the trailer for like 200 spent like another 50 bucks in wood uh, paint um, Luzani had the title and registered the trailer that was about a hundred and about 125 so all in all I'm really satisfied with it I've already took it on a few trips it rides really well um, pretty stable <clears throat> you ain't got to ratchet it down all you got to do is just use some regular straps and just hold it to it um, the weight of the boards on it that's really good because the trailer don't bounce bad it bounces a little bit but not too terribly bad So that bad a really cost-effective way to haul your kayak I actually designed this so I could put stuff underneath it because I want to go camping and stuff and maybe go down hit down uh, maybe Grand Isle and maybe Shell Beach and stuff like that and find some campgrounds so I can lug all my camping stuff underneath it and then support the kayak on top I did, however, change the wheels that come on it. Cause I think it was like eight inch wheels that came with it and I got the 12s instead because um, bigger the wheels, the less rotation. So you can actually drive faster. And I've drove this trailer 70 miles per hour going there and coming back to Lake Pontchartrain um, a couple times. And I have no problem with the, with the caps heating up, overheating. So I'll get out and check them every, when the first trip I check them every now and then. I did replace the ball bearings in them. Um, um, the Chinese ones that come with it ain't that great for some reason it seems like when they when they when they cast those bearings and all that in there they left all little Chunks and slips of metal in it and all that is gonna grind everything down. So I replaced those and Regreased the bearings and all that haven't had a problem with it Not a bad little trade. Really happy with it.